John and Morisano and I are getting ready to do the Lake Tahoe to Mount Whitney hike along the PCT and the JMT. And I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the food that I'm going to bring. Now this is only for our food cache run. We're going to drive up there and spend four days up there dropping off uh, our food caches in Kennedy Meadows and Tuolumne Meadows. But here's an idea of some of the food that I'm going to bring. This uh, pre-cooked bacon is awesome and uh, you know I don't use, I take this stuff out of the cardboard boxes. You know just like that. Pretty awesome stuff. And then uh, you're all familiar with the uh, Cliff Bar. And then I repackage all of my mountain house meals. Um, this one here is a teriyaki chicken and rice. And then of course uh, flatbread or tortillas. And with these I make uh, most of my lunches. Uh, peanut butter and jelly and uh, I also have salami which I'm not bringing next week on our food cache run. I'm pretty much going simple. I usually bring one of these and this is just some extra food, a Pop-Tart, Gatorade chews, and some ramen. Then here's another repackaged meal. It's a uh, lasagna and meat sauce. Then another, another lunch, you go with the flatbread, uh, Jif peanut butter, some jelly, a couple of Slim Jims. And then uh, breakfast, going real simple here on our food cache run, just a couple of uh, oatmeals. And what I do with these um, is, this is a Ziploc steam bag. And uh, you know, I'll put the, uh, I'll take the oatmeal out, put this in the, uh, in the, the cozy here I made for like uh, 25 cents. And then pour the water in, close up the cozy and uh, let it steep and then I'll pull this out and I'll eat it. So another uh, dinner I have here is uh, Idaho and mashed potatoes and I'll cut up some spam and put it in. It's really good actually when you're hungry. Sounds disgusting but it's not too bad. And then uh, a couple extra pop tarts, another Cliff Bar, and then uh, also for hiking, what's awesome, which uh, I wasn't a big fan of it until uh, the H2L with John Morisano, and he gave me like five Jolly Ranchers, and uh, I don't leave home without them anymore. I mean, um, I'm not a big hard candy fan, but when you're when you're hiking 15 or 20 miles in one day and it's hot and the bugs are bothering you, uh, popping one of these in your mouth seems to make all the pain go away. And truly awesome stuff. And then uh, for my drinks, usually what I do is I'll do one Gatorade a day and I'll do a couple of these single shot Kool-Aids. They have a lot of carbs in them. I mean, they're really good. And then, of course, uh, you know, a lot of people go with the Starbucks. I just go with the cheap uh, Nescafe Instant Coffees for coffee in the morning. And uh, pretty awesome stuff. And this is some of that uh, pre-cooked salami that I also bring with me. And, uh, you know, what I do is I don't save this. When I open these, instead of fussing with the big meat stick, is uh, this will be one like huge, awesome lunch. And then I'll go with the, uh, the flatbread. Okay, a lot of times what I do when I'm making these, uh, these entrees is I'll buy them in a number 10 can, the Mountain House, and I repackage anyway. 
All right, so I do that. But what you're gonna need though, is you're gonna need some, some uh, when you repackage out of number 10 can, you are gonna need some silica gel packs to keep the moisture out of, uh, out of your meal. So you know, one of these goes in each one. And again, uh, Idaho and potatoes here, uh, which I also repackage. And when I say I repackage, some people do it a different way. What I do is I repackage into, because they're very light, into these, uh, these steamer bags. Super light, that way I don't have to fuss when I'm getting ready to cook. All right, so this is also uh, what I use here. Uh, let me show you my cooking system. I use, uh, I use the jet boil here, and this is the sole. You know, it's really light. And, uh, you know, a lot of people take the lids off and the bottom, which I also do. But what I found is these little accordion cups, because I have to have a cup for all kinds of things, for washing, for my morning coffee, uh, you name it. It's always good to have a cup. I have a titanium cup, but it's always kind of a pain in the butt of where I'm going to put it. But this, I found, is the perfect size, and it fits right on top of my jet foil. Just like that. I mean, it is. it couldn't be made to fit better, which is uh, really awesome. And this uh, is really, the jet foil is really efficient on fuel. Um, if you look at some of the YouTube shootouts between uh, the jet foil and, uh, say, the REI reactor and a few of the other ones, um, the jet foil might be a little bit heavier, but it's so efficient on fuel, I think it's a wash, and I just kind of like the jet foil. And uh, it takes two minutes, and um, I'm pouring water into one of my meals, or I'm making coffee or tea. So, uh, um, truly awesome. And John Morisano showed me another trick. You had to take the igniter off of here and use your lighter to light it, and I also cut the little handle off, because uh, it's just a waste of weight. And then also, uh, I just kind of want to point out here, this is my barricade um, barrel ball. Okay, these are my old barrel vaults. They're, uh, they're very robust, uh, they make good seats, um, relatively inexpensive, but super heavy, super heavy. You know, I mean, that's over three pounds right there. And that's the big one. And uh, this is the small one. Uh, again, makes a good seat, really robust. And, uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, it's also very heavy. What I'm using now is uh, the barricade. And uh, this is like the middle size barricade. This barricade, which holds more food then the big bear vault weighs less than the small bear vault. So uh, it's really awesome and uh, just super light. Now I know some people out there are gonna say, well, how much did it weigh before you put the stickers on it? Well, you know, these stickers are super light. I really don't care. Uh, I put these on there, so uh, this is reflective tape, kind of in the shape of a face. Maybe that'll scare a bear away. But more importantly, if that bear rolls this can, away, I can use my flashlight at night to find it very easily because of this reflective tape. And uh, I've got little pieces on it all over the place here. And, uh, and then also the other stickers here are just a few racing stickers to identify it as mine uh, because this thing did cost almost 400 bucks, which is truly insane, but it's an awesomely engineered product. And another nice thing about it is, like I said, this weighs less than the small Bear Vault 450, but holds more food than the large Bear Vault. I mean, it's, you know, you know, just truly awesome. So on the uh, T to W, or the Tahoe to Whitney, with John Amorisano, of course, I will be using uh, the Barricade Bear Vault, not my older uh, bear vaults, which those are great though. I mean, a lot of people use them. It's just, uh, I carry camera equipment, um, which adds so much weight to what I'm doing. I need to cut weight. In fact, I'm kind of, uh, not, you know, some 
ultralight fanatic at all. I actually usually go too heavy, but because of the camera equipment, I have to cut weight, and uh, this right here was uh, over a pound of weight saving right there. <laughs>